Yes, it's true. My baby sleeps in the closet. Everybody from India on down has slept in the closet, including this guy. India, Ari, Treyu, Kenya, Nico, and this one. Like you got your baby sleeps in the closet? She sure does. And she sleeps great in here. It's dark. I have white noise in here. Turns out Miss Janine's daughter is taking on the preschool. You are watching the boy family. Yes, it's true. My baby sleeps in the closet. And what's not surprising about all of this is that everybody from India on down has slept in the closet, including this guy. India, Ari, Treyu, Kenya, Nico, and this one have all slept in the closet. It's quiet. It's secluded. It's dark. She loves it. And let me show you with the camera we've set up right there. <laughs> I could not screw it on the wall. Alex wanted a picture of Jesus in here because he, you know, we're afraid about falling off the wall and getting and falling onto her. Okay, get off me, buddy. So I've got it with an elastic band right there. <laughs> and here she is. So yeah, some people are like, you got your baby sleeps in the closet. She sure does. And she sleeps great in here. It's dark. I have white noise in here. Look at this guy just constantly climbing on me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, um, um, and it's, it's like separate and away from everybody else. So you should try it if you've got kids and not enough space. I have some great news to share. Do you guys remember when our preschool teacher died just a few short months ago from a very aggressive stage four cancer? It was like cancer in her esophagus, her GI tract. Poor thing, it took her so fast. Well, we were all depressed about preschool. Uh, being just closed. We were all searching for other preschools and it was just right in, in like February, March, I think. So turns out Miss Janine's daughter is taking on the preschool. So she gets to come back to Miss Janine's preschool and be taught by Miss Emily, her daughter. So we're gonna go and say hello, kind of do a little, say hi. <laughs> little meet and greet for Kenya. Are you, are you ready? Yeah. And she will get to be in two preschools because I've already signed her up with Miss Casey. Not knowing that Miss Jeannie's preschool will be open once again. There it is. Remember that? Yeah. Okay, let's go see. You want to go see, buddy? Yeah. Let's go see. Look at that, Kenya. <laughs> Look at that, Kenya. Is that so cool? Yeah. This kid's just, got a, just hanging out with his pet snake here. Huh. What's your snake's name? Uh, Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. How many of you guys are reptile lovers? Look at, ooh, look at his little tongue. This is Miss Emily. We are bringing back the little blue engine in honor of her mom. So if you guys need a preschool and you're local, send me a message in the comments and I'll give you all the info. We're just so glad to be back with reptiles. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> there she was. There she is. What's crazy about Miss Janine is that the preschool, when Emily came down, was still a she untouched like there's the January calendar right there still up and all of the folders from just prepping the preschool every day and all the Christmas cards from all the kids including mine my kids are up there somewhere you oh my are gosh are we right here. This is one of them. <laughs> oh my gosh and it's an old one <laughs> my cards are the worst Gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Because of the 
Yeah. Here we are again. With this little man right here. Say hi, guys. <laughs> well, of course, the one day I don't bring Nico's life jacket, he decided he won't, eh, nor his swimming suit. Because every time I've come, I bring his life jacket and swimsuit, and he doesn't want to get in. Except for the, the day I don't bring it. There he is. And it's his diaper only. <laughs> and he just loves it in here. Wow! Good job, buddy. Ooh. Oh, thanks, puppy. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Way to go, Nico. So happy in here. <laughs> Good job. This is the pond. Uh, like me. Sad. He, he has <laughs> oh, the fish are smiling. Smiling. And then <coughs> fish do not have. Have legs and feet. Sad was. Sad was. Sad was. made of protein powder, yeah, protein powder, peanut butter, peanut butter powder, um, and a banana, and some egg whites. Yeah. Let's give you some ladder. peanut butter. Look, the spider's just right yes, here. Yes, good girl. Yeah, I know, I'm up there. Yummy, yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And I just drank it straight from the bowl. Why wash another dish? Well, it's the afternoon. I've got this little miss. She loves being on her tummy. She's like my only baby that has just loved it. Sleeps on her tummy. Gratefully, she's kind of out of the SIDS phase at this point. She's going to be six months old next week. Aren't you? If you are. <laughs> so. We've had a low-key afternoon, which has been really nice. Actually, I thrive on busy days and running all over the place. But today I was just like, oh my gosh, I've got to get laundry done. I've got to wash sheets. I've got to catch up and get stuff done. E emails answered. And anyway, I made my favorite snack. It's protein packed. So it's Too Good Yogurt. Have you guys heard of Too Good Yogurt? T-W-O, Too Good Yogurt. It is so good. And I mixed it with a little bit of cottage cheese and strawberries. What? So, hold on. I had to re rescue this guy from Nico. They're starting to get a little too aggressive with him. And his patience is only going to go so far. Kind of like mom's. Huh, buddy? Anyway, I am planning Mominator Redemption. Are you going to come? Mominator Redemption 2021. After a crap year, it is time to redeem ourselves with good food, good, and drinks. I've, I've got it coming from a company called Thirst. It's like a so delicious. And they make beignets. Oh, I can't wait. As well as dancing, a DJ, swimming, a jousting competition, African drummers. It's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that, especially if you're local. I also wanted to mention some fun news. We just got invited to go to Cowabunga Bay, which is kind of like a water park outside um, in Utah here in, in Draper. And um, it is thanks to Shriners Hospital. Shriners is covering the cost for all of their patients and their patients' families. So thanks to his little cute club feet, his little deformity, we get to go. So that'll be fun. And like the, the hospital got, just covers all these patients and their families to go. So here are how his feet are looking. 
This is the one that was clubbed. This one wasn't, you know, technically clubbed, but it was turned in. This one was just like all the way. And you can see the difference. If I, if I flex his foot, that's about as far as it goes. If I flex this foot, watch this buddy. Then there's so much more. He can just go a lot. He's resisting me, but relax. He can, he can go all the way back. Look at that. Where this foot stops, can't go any further. This one can go way up. This one is, is um, kind of stuck. This is from the boots and bar, that little tiny scab right here. And his toes are a little bit messed up, a little bit weird in some areas. The big toe especially. Oh, sorry. And this little pinky toenails. But for the most part, this foot rocks. This one is just a little bit harder to, to um, you know, maneuver. And when he was born, this was all kind of messed up. But look at that now. If you've been here since the beginning, his foot was like turned all the way in. I'll put the eye card, if I remember, which I never do, of his club foot journey so you can see the process. <sighs> You like that, buddy? He's yeah. just He's just eating some salt. Do you like that? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. You need some water? Here's some water. Do you like oh no? More. Oh, more? Yeah. There you go. You like salt for dinner? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> this is the cutest little tongue you've ever seen. Doopy, doopy, doopy.